Welcome back guys. All right, so today um, I am painting the bumpers on my 2018 F-150. Uh, the reason I'm painting them is uh, I bought aftermarket one for the front. I got a uh, Raptor style uh, front bumper uh, for 2018 F-150. Grabbed it off of eBay for like 300 bucks. Um, pretty happy with the quality and everything like that. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect out of a stamped uh, uh, bumper, pretty thick steel. But um, obviously the color doesn't match, uh, it's not even close. Uh, I think they all come as like an off-color gray, um, but I have magnetic metallic, so I'm gonna change the magnetic metallic. Um, my truck had chrome bumpers, uh, I'm not a fan, so I also bought replacement uh, bumper um, bumperettes or bumper endlets or whatever they're called. Uh, they come with the shiny um, uh, paint on there already. Uh, it wouldn't match the black or anything like that, so you gotta sand and paint that as well. I uh, just kinda wanted to give you a quick couple steps what I'm doing. Uh, since both of these came basically already epoxied, uh, primered, I am uh, hitting it with a red uh, scotch brake pad. Um, and all you're doing is taking it from that shiny black that it looks like to a dull color like that. Um, same with this, it's shiny here, it's not here. So uh, all you're doing is knocking that off, uh, giving it something for it to stick to. Uh, and then I'm going to paint it, and I'm going to paint it in a redneck uh, paint booth that I came up with. Uh, basically, it's a $30 Easy Up from Dunham's or Dick Sports or something like that. And uh, wrapped it in uh, uh, cheap plastic. I think it was like a 400 feet of it for a couple bucks. So I uh, wrapped it in that, and that's going to be a paint booth to keep over spray or anything from getting onto uh, my truck. And then uh, obviously adequate dry times. Uh, I went down to... Um, uh, local actually car quest store uh, my buddy uh, Jesse hooked me up with all this stuff uh, color match for the truck uh, they mix it up themselves and um, essentially all you do is uh, um, pop the hardener into it uh, with a with a button these ones have the cap on the top take that cap off uh, put it on the bottom slam it down uh, give it a good shake that's the hardener uh, releases in there and then you're good to go uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, uh, two coats of epoxy primer, about 30 minute flash time in between. Uh, then we're gonna go as many coats as we need on this, uh, the truck paint, hopefully they get it the same color. And then we're gonna finish it off with uh, two, maybe three coats of uh, clear coat, let it dry overnight, she should be good to go. I'll continue to give you guys progress uh, videos and pictures as we go along. All right, so I did end up using uh, both cans of the epoxy primer. Uh, it is tan. I wanted to make sure I got good rust protection on the back side, so I did do uh, an extra coat back there. Um, and then whenever using the uh, spray, this stuff is amazing. Um, PVG Paints, uh, uh, CarQuest, and Cranberry mix it up for me. Um, the exact code and everything like that. Uh, you spray it on, and it literally looks like a professional just painted the car real quick, which is pretty impressive from an, uh, an aerosol can. Uh, the only thing I do have to say about these, is they go quick. I went through those two cans and I was praying that I had enough uh, at the very end. So uh, definitely um, uh, be careful with that, get an extra can, it's only like a couple bucks or whatever, get an extra can of that. And next up will be the uh, 2K clear coat, that's what we're about to do now. Um, just a couple little little technique things for you. Uh, when painting, obviously make sure you have good lighting and stuff. I don't even know if I have lights on here right now, I'll give you a little peek of what it looks like. Uh, obviously the, the paint matches perfectly. I'm really, really happy with it. It's in its dry time right now. Uh, basically, I took this plastic sheet all the way around here and then um, got a fan blowing. It's keeping everything nice and good as far as airflow goes. Uh, problem is with this stuff, uh, there's all kinds of warnings on it about make sure you have the proper ventilator, do not breathe it in. Uh, the guy at the counter that sold me it, Jesse, he sold me, told me you breathe this stuff in and basically you get cancer, you feel like somebody's standing on your chest the next day. Uh, I didn't have a respirator and I'm a bit of a redneck as you can see, so I made my own. Uh, I just went ahead and cut off a garden hose, stuck that in my mouth and been breathing through that thing. So, uh, redneck respirator, I have the uh, garden hose all the way out the fresh air. All the fans blowing and everything like that, no problems, no issues, I feel great. Uh, I'll show you the uh, after clear coat what it looks like and then tomorrow we'll I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then we'll put them uh, back on the truck and we'll see uh, we'll see what the finished product comes out like how close it actually is to that paint color uh, just by looking at it right now I think it's gonna be damn near dead on all right so we're done with all the painting um, came out really really well uh, and even despite having a redneck paint booth and everything like that it still always gets these little bugs that love the clear coat. Uh, orange peel, as you can see, uh, I expected that. Um, 
uh, may try and, and buff this out, but honestly, it's just going on some bumpers and uh, you're never gonna be able to tell from afar. Uh, really happy with the quality of the paint. Really happy with uh, how it went on and everything like that. Um, looks pretty good. I know I, I know some people are gonna say, "Oh, you missed the spot and everything." That all gets covered. That's that's all covered by um, a black plastic piece. So I didn't want to waste the paint just in case I ran out. But overall, uh, went really well. I'm gonna let them dry. They're already dry to the touch uh, after about 40 minutes. But um, I'm still gonna let them dry for eh, overnight. I'm going to bed. Well, I'm gonna go have some beers. Uh, put them on the truck and I'll show you the finished product tomorrow. See you guys. All right guys, final product. Really happy with how it came out. Just put it all back together. Getting late in the day. But paint matches pretty much perfectly. A little bit of orange peel, like I said before, no problem. Still happy with it. And my son. <laughs> Thanks guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.